everybody, Guitar Man 3YT here, and welcome to my next video. I haven't done a video from my workshop in a while. It's been so daggum hot here in Texas. This tripod is terrible, it's bouncing all over the place. Anyway, <clears throat> this video is going to be about my latest projects that I'm working on now, and the several projects that I have coming up in the near future, and just all the stuff I'm going to be doing as far as guitar stuff goes. Okay, so my first project is actually for my cousin who asked me if I could build him a replica of Jimi Hendrix's Black Beauty guitar because he's doing a thing like a classic rock deal in his uh, game room upstairs in his house where he's got posters of all his favorite guitar players and stuff and he wanted to hang replicas of their guitars next to him and the very first one he wants me to do is a Jimi Hendrix one so I've been working on this for about a month I just hadn't had time to film anything about it so I'm just going to show you what I got so far this is supposed to be his Black Beauty guitar from like 1968 so I ordered all parts licensed fender body and all parts licensed fender neck and I ordered the 70s style logo. I just got that put on there the other day. It still needs a few more coats of lacquer. But I've been trying to scuff up the neck and try to make it look old. Kind of relic in it. Sprayed a little really thin coat of nitrocellulose lacquer on the front and the back. But I really like the way that looks kind of an amber amber look to make it look old it's like it's supposed to be a 50 year ago guitar I painted the body black and I didn't want it to look brand new either so I ran a bunch of stuff over it and kind of scuffed it up just to where it doesn't look brand new kind of looks old and dusty so I ordered this Fender neck plate with the F on it. Put that on there. And since it's actually going to be, it's not a guitar that anybody's gonna play. It's just gonna be a decoration on a wall, basically. Um, so nobody's gonna be playing it. So I'm making it an actual left-handed guitar. I even, this body came with no holes in it except for the well, the main cutouts. But I drilled that hole and actually put that on there just like it was a right-handed guitar. And then he took a right-handed guitar, flipped it over so he could play it. So then I took it out of there, put it over here on this side. So it's actually gonna be a left-handed guitar like this with the upside down it'll be hanging on the wall just like this and I'm even gonna string I'm gonna string it up left-handed might even try to play it but I doubt I can then I got this really old plate that's really dirt old and dirty and dusty It could pass for being 50 years old. It's got stains all over it. The knobs are dirty. The switch is dirty. Yeah. So that's how it's going to look. Whoops. Not something over in my shop. Then I got the vintage bridge. <laughs> Since he, he plays this this way, it's about to be hanging down like this. Mm -hmm. 
So anyway, that's basically it. All I got left to do is put the nut on there, wire this up. So it'll actually be a working guitar, but nobody's gonna play it. It's gonna be hanging on the deck. Gonna be a decoration hanging on the wall. Got that, it's a bone nut. Could have just used a plastic one, but bone's easier, easier to sand to make it fit right. Since it's gonna be left-handed, Nick. And for the tuners for this Jimi Hendrix guitar, I ordered some vintage, <clears throat> some vintage tuners that look really old in the 70s. And they have the, the slot on the end like that for the string instead of a hole. I'm not even sure how to put strings on like that. I'm gonna have to watch the videos, figure out how to do it. Anyway, they're gonna look really nice and vintagey right there. They got the little small tuner knob, bean shaped tuner knob. And I believe this neck, okay, I thought it was gonna be nine millimeter holes. I thought vintage was nine millimeter, but apparently these are like eight or eight and a half because this nine millimeter sleeve doesn't even fit in there yet. So I'm gonna have to drill those out to get make this work. Now, I don't want my drill bit going any farther than about that right there. So I'm gonna use this to wall her out the hole a little bit right here. That's pretty snug down in there. Yeah. That's what these, these come in handy for. This little seat clamp here. It's perfect for mashing the uh, parts of your tuner when you have to redrill the hole. You don't want to make the hole too loose. So you want to make it where it's still pretty tight and then use one of these clamps and knock it down in there. Actually press it down in there. Okay. I just barely, I just used my drill bit to barely, barely waller out the hole right there. Then set that in there and use that clamp, press it down. They are. You can barely see the the water logo right there. So I got to put some more coats of lacquer over that. Couldn't do that right now. Okay, so my second project that I got going right now is a guitar that's already been built. It's one, actually, one of my favorite ones. If you've been following my channel you've seen a lot of my improvs where i'm using a pearl white stratocaster with a pearl blue pick guard it's got a completely scalloped neck that i did myself anyway i love that guitar i put uh, rail pickups in it so they're actually humbuckers well right now it's just got the mini 250k pots in it so i ordered a pre-wired whole different wiring system of full size 500k pots for that guitar it's pretty nice 
pretty nice parts. They're way better than the ones that are in it. I'll be putting that in there. And I'm also going to change out the bridge saddles. Because I bought some of these earlier for another guitar, but I love them. So I got some more. These I ordered from an American company. And they are solid brass saddles. The good kind. The first ones I got, I got from overseas, which were really cheap. And they look cheap. But these are really well made. And they weren't cheap. <laughs> I want to be putting these on the bridge for that guitar. Be doing that soon. As soon as I get taking get this uh, Jimi Hendrix guitar taken care of, I can get on these. Yep. And then I got one more project to show you. Okay, for the last project that I'm going to show you today. It's in the house. So I'm in here in my bedroom studio. And first of all, I wanted to show you this guitar right here. That's the guitar I'm talking about, putting the new wiring and the new pots and the brass saddles. It's gonna have brass saddles right there. And I just put an antique bronze uh, jack plate right there. It matches the antique bronze tuners. And it's got an antique bronze neck plate on the back. Okay, so here is another project of mine. As soon as I get around to doing it, but I had to get it when I could because it was on clearance. <laughs> this is just like a black Les Paul standard. Super thick body made out of mahogany, cream binding. Got the mother of pearl. Uh, the trapezoids, I guess, what they're called. And by a company called Roxon. I never heard of it, but I picked this thing up for 80 bucks on Guitar Fetish. They have a clearance, a warehouse clearance sale that's been going on forever, and everything is 30% off. So. For eighty dollars, I got this Les Paul project. It's got the set neck. Set neck, everything. But it gets me with how heavy it is. Man, it is heavy, just like a real Les Paul. Way heavier than my kit Les Paul. My kit Les Paul is way lighter than this. But I think it's gonna make a really cool project. I had a 1977 Gibson Les Paul standard a long time ago, so this is kind of, I'm gonna this is gonna be like my project, like I rebuilt my Charvel guitar out of the Jackson. I'm gonna rebuild my 1977 Gibson Les Paul out of this one. I'm gonna take all this off, shape it just like a Gibson. Put the Gibson logo on it. It's gonna say L LP, a standard truss rod. Put some Seymour Duncan distortion pickups in it because that's what I had in mind. All black hardware. I mean, not black hardware, all black. This is gonna be black. It's gonna be black. The pickups are black. Black knobs. Maybe some gold knobs. I don't know. I can't remember. I think mine had gold knobs on it but chrome hardware, good set of locking tuners. It's gonna be cool. All I gotta do is trim this off here, like a Gibson, sand all that off. Probably put a, either a brass or a bone nut brass or bone knit. It's in really nice shape for 80 bucks. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be busy doing for the next several months. So if you like this video, hit the like button and be sure to 
subscribe so you can follow to see all the see the, the results of everything that I'm going to be doing. Everything that I talked about today will be actually happening. I'm going to finish up the Jimi Hendrix guitar, finish that one, start working on the LP. And my cousin, the one that I'm doing the Hendrix guitar for, has also asked me to do an Angus Young and an Eddie Van Halen guitar for him. So those will be fun. That's all coming up. So thanks for watching.